That'll be in January. All 32 teams represented once again in the biggest Madden tournament of the year. And that's going to stay in bounds. That's a scum kick. My buddy RG would call that one a scum kick when you, you don't have an opportunity to return it, step out of bounds, and you got to start at the 12-yard line. No bueno. You know what? We call that a successful kick <laughs> and a successful <laughs> strategy when you're able to do that. And I was just wondering why – I didn't know if he was going to let the ball try to go out of bounds to get the penalty or if he was just going to make sure that he secures it before the kickoff team got down there. But that was – well, nice job. I mean, you well, you don't what? know where it's going to go. That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. You, you're thinking it might go out of bounds, but it might be worse. Those footballs, they have a weird way of bouncing. Ghani and Joe Rice here in semifinal number two. CJ is waiting in the final. Scott Cole and Indy Kalu along with you. It's been our absolute honor to be here in Houston. And now can Joe Rice live up to the hype? They ran a poll on Twitter. 70% of the community have voted, and it thought Joe Rice was going to be the one that represented Houston. That's a lot of pressure right there. That's a lot of pressure when uh, the whole community, the majority of the community, expects you to win. So it's one of those deals where Ghani is playing with house money. You know, if he wins, it's a huge upset. If he loses, people didn't expect him to win in the first place. So let's see how it actually plays out. Ghani will start with his first. He'll be in the white. The Liberty White, and it's still blue, will be Joe Rice playing under that 818 tag, which a lot of people in the community will recognize. Second and nine, ball at the 13. Odell Beckham, Herman Moore, and also Randy Moss are off to the right. And we've already seen what Leonard Fournette can do. And that's who will get it right here. Fournette pushing forward out to the 20-yard line. Here comes a third and short. And so, well, using that power right there, going in between the A gaps and not trying to juke anybody but push people forward. Let's see, I mean, you got a three-down line here. you got a, you got a lot of room to run between those guards. Third and two. Of course, he's got two linebackers sitting right there waiting. Now, quick throw. Fournette puts his hands on it, and he'll be forced out of bounds at the 28. I'll tell you what, that was a smart play. He recognized there was not a defender in the flats, knowing he only needs to pick up two or three yards. Doesn't look to anybody else. That's just what you call a long Ohio. handoff. Ohio. Something that I've been waiting for the years to happen. They used to see you used to see your opponent's previous play that they ran, so you would know, okay, what was, was that cover two? Was right. that cover four? Was he blitzing there? Uh, you know, what formation was he in? Not this year. You got to line up to the line, and you got to read that thing. And you got to remember, there's, there's no spoon feeding. Huge part of lifting the competitive nature of Madden this year. Let's shout out to the guys back in Orlando. And continue from an esports perspective, making Madden better year over year, and that is a big hit. I'll tell you what, he's lucky he got that ball off because if he was not throwing the ball forward, or if his motion wasn't moving forward, we'd be talking about uh, maybe a sack cause fumble right now. Flex round! Flex round! Ghani with the ball. Ohio. Ohio. Joe Rice on Diva. Since this is the opening Ohio. drive of the ball Ohio. game. Those folks out there that are thirsty for the giveaways, we got more coming up at HoustonTexas.com backslash Madden. Keep it locked out there, and there's a wide open Herman Moore, and he breaks a tackle. Does he have the speed to beat Darius Slade Jr.? Yes, Herman Moore will get to the end zone, and that was a huge play right there for Ghani. I'll tell you what, you're absolutely right. That was a huge play. I was just about to mention how Joe Rice was making Ghani earn every yard that he was picking up, and Herman Moore having the ability, being a big, strong wide receiver, to break the tackle and hit the pay dirt, that, that was big because Joe Rice, I don't see him giving up too many touchdowns this game. Well, he strikes first, makes the statement. And now here's TG2, the former Georgia Bulldog, Todd Gurley. Take a look at this again. It's all about the broken tackle. 
Yes, and you just see how big Herman Moore is, and we all know how big and strong he is. Didn't expect him to have that type of speed. But once again, just a big, big play by Ghani because I felt like Joe Rice was playing pretty good defense up until that point. Deion Sanders was trying to wrap him up. Yeah. Couldn't bring him down. and He's not big on uh, physicality. <laughs> I remember when I played with Deion in Washington, he told me, he yelled my name and said, they don't pay me to tackle, so make sure you do your job as a defensive man. <laughs> Seeing our first different quarterback of the day, and this is no other than the lefty. Guy by the name of Michael Vick. Maybe you've heard of him. Yeah, heard of him. Had some nightmares uh, with Michael <laughs> Vick, and it didn't have anything to do with my dogs. It's because the guy can run, he's strong, and he has an arm out of this world. One of the toughest quarterbacks to prepare for. Well, he was a nightmare all the way back to high school, Virginia Tech. Chris Years with the Falcons. Grace the cover of Madden football. I'll tell you what, you know, there's fast for a quarterback, then you have football speed, but Vic just has straight speed, what we call track speed. That guy was so explosive, so fast. It, it was a joy when you weren't playing him to watch him play. Third and 11. Ooh. And that's knocked away by Dion. That's what Dion does. He also takes those to the house, so lucky <laughs> it was just a pass broken up and not a pick six. Hey, let's go. And Joe Rice right now looking frustrated at how things are going early on in this game as they sit at fourth and 11. Already down a touchdown. Can he get held to a four and out and right in the soft spot. Those tender spaces of the zone down to the 34-yard line. And I'll tell you what, that's trusting your offensive line, giving your receiver time to find the soft spot of that zone defensive, the defensive backfield, and you credit the offensive line because he had a nice, clean pocket that stayed clean for over three seconds. That's the tough thing about the cover, too. Once they get behind that yeah. initial sink, a little like a cover two sink. Stop, stop, stop. At least the, the hot route that he put the defense into, the defense adjustments. And there's Randy Moss. And there's some back-to-back -back huge plays by Joe Rice. And he's got a first and goal at the eight-yard line. Maybe finally ready to get this offense going. Two different plays, different kind of plays, but same type of production. The last play, he sat in the pocket for seconds and waited for the receiver to find the soft spot, that same receiver being Randy Moss. That play, it was just timing. He knew exactly where he was going, and he released it, and he made Randy Moss run to the ball. Two catches for 61 yards for Randy Moss. Out, out, out. Three down. Delaney in motion, gives it to Todd Gurley, and he'll carry Paul Krause. Into the end zone and pinning the extra point. We're going to be tied up. I'll tell you what, a defender did not touch Todd Gurley until he was about four yards past the line of scrimmage. Credit the old line for their blocking ability on that play. Yeah, if you got your strong safety making the first initial contact yes. inside the five-yard line, it's not going to be good against Todd Gurley. And there's another interesting kick from Rice. He'll hold him to the 22-yard line. So first and 10 at the 22, tied up at 7. Scott Cohen, Indy Kalu along with you here from the NRG Stadium. We're in the semifinal number two of the Houston, Texas Club Championship for Madden 19. The winner will face CJ in the final. And Fournette doing a nice job holding on to the ball, taking a couple of big hits on that play. And a couple of times I felt like that ball might pop out, but being a very big, strong running back, He's able to hold on to it. Ooh, he is. Fletcher Cox says hello, and he didn't get it. He didn't gain an inch, didn't lose an inch. And this time, QB sneak for McNabb will pick up four, and more importantly, the first down. You know what? I like the play selection for Ghani, from Ghani. You, you know, you typically don't want to run your quarterbacks, but when you have a guy as big and strong as Donovan McNabb, when he doesn't pick it up the first time, you know what? Try it again because more times than not, he's going to be able to pick up one yard. And it off to Fournette, and he gets submarined by Weapon X, he's Brian dark. Dawkins. That's Hall of Famer Brian Dawkins, and that's exactly what he does. Not only does he defend the pass, but he's great when it comes to run support. Flex round, flex round. Talk about your top five safeties Ohio, of all time. Ohio. It's hard to leave that man flex off round, your list. Flex round. 
Sean Taylor would probably have to be up there for me as well along with that read. Good read, Sean Taylor, Brian Dawkins. Steve Atwater, does he break your top hey, five? Hey, Atwater's got to be in the top ten at least. Hey, pa Pauly Krause, just because of the interception totals. I don't care what. I mean, he played in an era where they didn't throw the ball a lot. Right. There's been some good ones for sure. Of course, the Honey Badger there. Matthew's not a bad one yeah, here bad in, one in Houston. The folks of Houston are happy that they chose to play with the Texans this season. That's a defense you want to be a part Flex of. Round. Flex round. Third and 21. Makes it easier to play coverage when you got that. those guys up front. Boy, good time there. It gets... OBJ on a little playmaker route out to the 33, and here's a fourth and 13. Can Joe Rice raise up here? Turn this game in his favor. Nab, and that's going to be, doesn't matter. With flag on the play? Yeah, I think. It's just going to be a, 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 I'm pretty sure it was an intentional ground. Okay, okay. But it was fourth down right. to loss of down, I'll turnover you, that was at the 22-yard line. Considering where they were on the football field, that was a gutsy call. I know they don't like to punt, but now you're giving hey, Joe hey, Rice hey. the favorite in this whole tournament, a short field to yeah, work. The, the punt has got to be like fourth and 40. <laughs> something wild like that. One-handed grab. And that is Randy Moss. All the way down to the one-yard line. Joe Rice looking to take the lead. That's the second spec catch we've seen today. It was OBJ for a touchdown for CJ game number one. And now Todd Gurley. Back-to-back -back touchdowns for him and Joe Rice. And he's going to be up a touchdown here with 4.18 to go in the half. Obviously, this game's a little closer than the first game we witnessed, but Joe Rice now looks like he's getting comfortable with the game. The first couple of minutes, he was trying to fill different things out, so we'll see if Ghani could respond. Boy, another scummy kick there from Joe Rice. We'll get Barry Brown. Sanders Black no Brown. room as Black you see Brown. the catch again there by Randy Moss that set up the one-yard plunge Ohio. Ohio. from Todd Gurley. 14-7, huge drive right here. McNabb gets sacked up at the seven-yard line as Milton comes through. You know what? We call that a coverage sack, not just because the defensive back made that uh, sack, but because McNabb had nowhere to go, no open wide receivers. Second and 22. And he will hand it off to Fournette. He doesn't gain an inch there. Third and 22. He doesn't get anything here. He might be a punting situation. We'll see. Need to get at least half of it here. Trailing by a touchdown in the Ohio. shadow of his own goalpost. McNabb, here comes the blitz. They pick it up. And oh. low pass to Herman Moore. Will fall to the turf, and you can tell your kids, I saw a Madden game competitively where they punted. <laughs> and you just have to at this point. And he, you know he's going to get a decent return here as well. All right, so angle it to the sideline. It'll stay in for Dion. Dion lets it bounce. Whoa, and I'm not sure it? if he, he touched touch that or not. And no. Boy, it looked like it for it, a moment. It did. I know in my heart of hearts he didn't. But it took an awkward man. bounce for him man. not to field that. Stop, stop, stop. And that's going to cost him a, about 30, 40 yards in field position. Lucky to have it at the 31. Wide opens Randy Moss. Breaks away from Krause. But I tell you what, Joe Rice right back in great field position after that one play. You think with Deion Sanders back there, you're going to have a pretty good shot at a return. Ball dead at midfield right there on the Houston Texans logo with three minutes 
to go here in the first half. Leading by seven, Joe Rice is in the steel blue uniforms. Ghani in the Liberty White. I'll tell you what, Ghani's defense is playing like Gandhi is coaching them. They're a little too peaceful right now. They're going to have to get aggressive and put some big hits because Joe Rice, the momentum starting to go to his sideline. There you go. That's the type of plays that they're going to have to continue to make. Well, third and one here. Hey, let's go. And they stand tall one time. And we hit the two-minute warning. 14 straight points by Joe hey, Rice. After Ghani struck first in the first quarter on his opening drive. Look how comfortable Joe Rice looks now in this scene. Hey, alert three, alert. Alpha, Alpha. Deuce, deuce. Double, double, yeah, nothing double. Nothing really gets to Joe Rice. He's pretty calm and collected. I got him, I got him. Back's mine. I got him. Been I got him. here before, no doubt about it. And they got a running lane here with Gurley, and that's the first down at the 36. Okay, four. we got four. We got four. Go. Gurley's so quick yeah, after go. he gets the ball, gets upfield, understands where the first down marker is, doesn't go east and west trying to hit the big, big, big game. Up, he just up. wants to get that first down on that particular play. Press coverage on the outside. Nobody open for Vic. Three-man rush. <laughs> Randy Moss comes back on the playmaker to the 11-yard line. He's 6 of 7 for 130 yards for Vic. I'll tell you what, like you said, initially no receivers open, but when you have that much time and you have a great receiver like Randy Moss, no matter the great defenders he's going against, somebody will get him. Girl. Wrapped up by Moore at the seven. Ghani will use his first time out, two remaining with 46 seconds to go. Still can get a first down here. Eagle, Eagle, 44. Double tight, double tight. Vic up under center. Lion, lion, lion. 300, 300. Alpha, alpha. Stop, Gurley stop, stop. in the backfield. Beckham off to the right. Go to the air, go to the corner, and he overthrows Randy. And Joe Rice really utilizing Michael Vick's arm. A couple of times where it seems like the routes are breaking down, you would think he would just pull the ball and run. But right now, not risking injury to his quarterback. Third and six, and the, this time, same play, same route, but this time hits his target. And it looks like it's going to be 21 unanswered points for Joe Rice, living up to the hype. Right now, living up to the hype. And look, this is a little bit different than last game. It's not the interceptions. It's not the turnovers. It's just sound football. Good defense, good special teams, and getting it done on offense with a running pass. This time, Barry Sanders able to... Get up there and grab it before it takes the awkward bounce. So 36 seconds, ball at his Black own 36. Round. Two timeouts Ohio. remaining. Ohio. Really needs a score here. Flex round. Flex round. Remember Joe Rice will get the ball to start Ohio. the second half. And also we got some DeAndre Hopkins giveaways coming your way here around halftime at HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden. Throws the bomb and has a man, and it is Barry Sanders. All the way down to the 24, and he'll call a timeout. And you know, a good job by Ghani calling that timeout when he was on defense Black to give himself some Black time Black when he does get the offensive ball. Barry Sanders getting behind all the defenders for a huge pickup and putting them in field goal range at a minimum. Ohio! Ohio! 29 seconds before the half. Ball to 24. And there's Randy Moss. Can't get out of bounds. Clock will move. 20 seconds now, Black ball round. at the 15, Black second round. and one. Really needs Black a touchdown round. here. Still has that timeout in his pocket, play action. And throws it high, clock will stop with 10 seconds to go before the half, third and one. Ohio, Ohio. Boy, this could Black be the round. game. Flex round. You just feel like you can't stop Joe Rice, you gotta get Black a score round. here. Herman Ohio. Moore in motion. McNabb throws it into oh. traffic and it's picked off by who else? Brian Dawkins. 
obvious statement of the day, that's the last thing you needed right there because even if he doesn't pick up the first down, then you have a decision. Do you go for three uh, and get ten points on the board before halftime? But for him not to be able to get any points and give up this big game. Uh-oh, Gurley. Thought he might take it to the house there before the half, before it finally closed down. Your score at halftime. Take a look at that interception one more time. 21 to 7. Well, just try to force it in there and you don't blame him, but it, yes, right now I'm sure he would like to have been a little more conservative and kick the field goal. Well, getting a little sticky here. We promise you some giveaways, and here comes your next keyword. Of course, you can enter it out there at HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden. Hey, and the keyword is no other than what you've seen from Joe Rice and CJ today. Touchdown. He's had three of them here in the first half. That keyword once again. Touchdown. Enter it out at HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden for your chance to win a DeAndre Hopkins Madden Ultimate Team card. Giving away 500 of those. Moss spun away for a moment. You feel like this drive might right here might be going down to end this thing. And this is what makes Joe Wright so special, picking up three, four, five yards on the first down. Then you pick up the, the first down with the pass. Just a nice, great selection when it comes to run pass. And you see it here again. Another first down, big pickup on the ground, and that makes the rest of the series easier to manage. Really a balanced tack as well. He's been using... Passing game, but using Gurley when he needs to. Back to Gurley. Plants his foot. And there's Rod Woodson, who also would probably be in our top ten safeties list, comes up on the hit. Absolutely. And again, still a lot of time left, only down two touchdowns. But you wonder if Joe Rice is able to score on this series. Is this where he starts hiding things? Because CJ is watching, and CJ's not just watching, he's scouting as well. Third and two. Gurley won't pick up the first down here, and I think you got to think about the field goal. It's going to be a 50-yarder for Myers. Of course, the roof is closed there at NRG, and it's boy, just over the crossbar. Big three points there for Joe Rice. No, huge three points, and uh, just puts more pressure on Ghani now. And the first deep kick by Joe Rice. And Deion Sanders will get out to the 25-yard line. A nice, comfortable lead for Ohio. Joe Rice, but Ohio. this is where he has to keep his foot on the gas and keep continuing to play that Flex aggressive Rowell. style of Flex defense. Rowell. Ghani's pretty much got to be perfect the rest of this half Flex to get back Rowell. in this ball Flex game. Rowell. Trailing by 17. Leonard Fournette, that's a good start. Cuts back to the inside. Out to the 43-yard line. Absolutely the start you want on this drive, and this is a drive where it's not about field goals, it's about getting Ohio, in the end zone. Ohio! 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 Bunch to the right. Donovan. It's Barry Sanders, and he got away from the strip animation of Darius Slay Jr. I'll tell you what, Scott, it's not just about the end zone. It's not just about the scoring. I mean, these games are going by fast. Uh, they're going by fast because, one, they're entertaining as heck, and we're having a good time, but also because we're talking about five-minute quarters. So uh, if he takes three, four, five minutes to score, that's only going to work to help Joe Rice. It's four people having a good time. Me, you, CJ, and Joe Rice right now. Can Ghani make it a game? McNabb. Gets it to Moss, who drops Ooh. the football. And he'll turn it over at the 34-yard line. Caught it, made a move, and then dropped it. I'll tell you what, that's huge right there. That might be as big as the five turnovers we saw last game just because Ghani was getting some momentum. He was trying to get back in the game. And for Moss to give it up like that, that is a huge blow to Ghani's chances. Gurley. Got a block from Moss, still on his feet to the 42. 12 carries for 62 yards, two touchdowns hey, go. for Todd Gurley. Rams are doing pretty good this year. Yeah, they're <laughs> all right. They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Only undefeated team left in the NFL. He had a big game against the New Orleans Saints. Three down. Three down. 
and Drew Brees, who's been playing since the 70s. <laughs> I know Drew Brees is old because I played against him, and I've been out for nine years, and he and still I'm looks like he's young and fresh. Hey, so hey. He is doing something right. I'll tell you what, I like Joe Rice's play selection. Typically after a tur uh, turnover, you try to go downfield and get the quick score. Uh, but those first two plays took time off the clock, and he was able to get a first down with those first two plays as now he faces a fourth and four. Of course, Drew Brees played his high school ball here in Texas. And to think, not every Texas school wanted him as a quarterback. Had to go up and be a bowler maker. Go making his way to New Orleans. And Randy Moss keeps the drive alive. Out of bounds at the 27-yard line. And Joe Rice has been clutch when he's needed to. And now I would not be surprised if we saw a couple of runs out of Gurley to get that clock down and get Joe Rice safely into the fourth quarter. I know you feel that. You don't celebrate when you're down 24-7, defender. Well, Houston's such a sports town. You have the Dynamos, the Rockets, the Astros. Of course, we're here at Energy Stadium, home of the Houston Texans. And we're headed to the fourth quarter here in Semi-final number two, who's going to play CJ? It's looking like Joe Rice right now. But we got five minutes to see if Ghani can somehow make a comeback here and a big hit. You know, it almost said World Series champion Houston Astros. <laughs> it's hard for me to let it go, but shout out to the Boston Red Sox. Eagle, Eagle. Yeah, I mean. Double, yeah. double, double. A good season this year. You can't, you can't repeat all the time. All right, second best record in the regular season. <laughs> Wide oh, open is Brown and touchdown, Joe Rice. See Joe Rice show some emotion there, some celebration with a fist pump like Tiger Woods. And I think he knows, even though he'll never say it out of respect to his opponent, he knows that he has this game in the bag. That was the former Notre Dame star, Tim Brown, Heisman winner. Hauling it in and making it 31 to 7. Something tells me, you know, you would think you're probably going to have a ton of offense in the oh, final. It's probably going to be oh, 6 to 3. Uh, it, doesn't <laughs> it, always, it always plays like that, plays out like that. Now I expect to oh, see some fireworks oh, in the final. 56. Four minutes, 22 seconds away <laughs> from CJ and Joe Rice. CJ wanted to play him. You're going to get a chance to play him. Here in about four minutes and some change. And I tell you what, if I'm CJ, I'm looking to see what's working for Joe Rice, what's not working, and see if you can exploit that. But right now, it just seems like everything's working. One turnover, he's consistently being able to move the ball, whether it's running or throwing, and his defense has been smothering Ghani's offense. So it's going to be a tough task to beat Joe Rice in the championship. So got some more stuff to give away in the final game. Stick around. You should go out there and bookmark HoustonTexans.com slash Madden. And Randy hauls it in at the 43. It's been a defensive performance by Joe Rice, done in a lot of different ways. Interception, fumble recovery. Had a few, forced a few four and outs. And he goes right back to Herman Moore this time. We'll prevent defense maybe a little bit here from Joe Rice. Flex round! Flex round! If you just join us, CJ put on an amazing display against Bob in semifinal number one with five interceptions. And pretty much scored every time he touched the football. And Joe Ohio, Rice gives up Ohio. an opening touchdown in this game here to Ghani. And then he scored 31 unanswered. Now, 
grab. Got hit as he threw, but somehow Leonard Fournette's able to take it off the turf at the three. And I tell you what, the way that both the, the oh, winners have been very oh, impressive, and I say winners, I know there's still three minutes and ten seconds left to go, but Joe Rice, the way he's just been able to consistently move the ball, uh, th that's what's been pretty right there, right impressive. When you see the five interceptions that C.J. was able to do, you don't expect that game in the game out. So he really is going to have to figure out a way to get some consistent plays to compete with Joe Rice. Connie able to get it in here. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I think if you you need to go for two every time here now. Oh yeah. So if you're, look, you don't even need to do the Flex math. You also got to go for onside kick. Flex round. Flex round. Three score game if you can get all the two point conversions in. Hello, Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, that guy's pretty good there right there. You know, <laughs> revolutionized the outside linebacker position. And we see a lot of things today. And left tackles are getting paid the way they get paid today because of that man right there. Yeah, baby! <laughs> so many guys in the league. Of course, Joe Theismann, you already know that story. But I was, I was here for the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And I'm staying at the same hotel I was staying at then. And next to the Galleria here in Houston. And I go shoe shopping because that's apparently what I do with my life when I'm not doing this. <laughs> nice. And, uh, of course, picking out some Jordans to wear to the Super Bowl. And there's Phil Sims right there picking out some Air Maxes for himself. How awesome is that? And we sat there. We did talk about Lawrence Taylor for a good two minutes. And how he used to wake up in cold sweats right. the, the nights before they would play. Thinking about how good that guy was as a teammate. And everybody else, obviously, in that division. He was glad that Lawrence Taylor was a giant. <laughs> yes, I bet he was. <laughs> and I mean that in a lot of different ways. Yes. Tiny's on a ringo. Tiny's on a ringo. So are you a sneakerhead? Hey, hey, hey. They would consider me a sneakerhead. How many pairs of sneakers do you have? Oh, boy. I don't think I should even put that out. I won't judge I have you. a 12 by 12 closet. Mm-hmm. Floor to ceiling, wow. all the way around. Wow. Quick, quick. I have a lot of Th And this is the part oh, where I tell my wife I love her. <laughs> <laughs> do you wear them all? Three down, three down. I do wear a good amount. Wait, there's, there's some that I do hold away. A hey, Todd Gurley's on his horse. And he'll lay down at the 25 just to keep this clock running. <laughs> Tell you what, some fantasy owners aren't too happy about that <laughs> play, but Joe Rice doing the smart thing right there. Hey, that's what he did last week. <laughs> yes, he did. In IRL. Alert, alert. Three, uh, yeah, I, got, I mean, I, I'm willing to admit I got a problem. <laughs> if that's what we're getting to here, I got a problem. It, it, it may just be a healthy <laughs> hobby. You know, there are uh, other things you could, worse things you could be that spending is true. The money on. That is true. I bring that up regularly. There's worse <laughs> things for sure. Okay, last question. Do you have more shoes right than your right wife? Now. Yes. Okay. You, may have easy. A, you may have a problem. <laughs> may have we may have to work on this. <laughs> Easily. Final minute in this one. 49 seconds to go. Third and three. It's a problem. It's a, it's a real problem. Joe Rice trying to close this one out. And he's going to have a fourth down here. But it, Well, it depends on if he's going to call a timeout here. That might be our final play. And they will shake hands. And so Joe Rice is going to face CJ in the final to find out who's going to represent the Houston Texans in January. Part of that $700,000 prize pool. And he's one step closer, came in as